What's up, everybody? Are you guys ready for today's Wordle, which is going to be an extension of yesterday's challenge? We are not going to do a four-word sentence. We are going to do a five-word sentence. Can you believe it? Let's go ahead and hit the play button and um, just arrange the screen a tiny bit better and find out what type of mischief Art can get himself into today. Um, here we go. The Wordle screen is perfect. And here's what I came up with. Are you guys ready? And it's a legitimate sentence. Am I going to say that this sentence has ever been uttered in the course of English history? Probably not, but it will be today. And it is grammatically valid. Black. Holy cow, that's fantastic. Uh, fjord. Ha, that's even better. Twigs. We now have a, this is awesome. We now have a four plus one unscramble. Um, and we actually, we should be able to figure out what this is right now. Um, it's, it's going to be brief, obviously. Um, in fact, that's pretty cool because literally the next one that I put in will confirm the E in the fourth position. Vexed. Yep. And this is now just a formality. Um, depending on the outcome, I would say they're going to do Sandy or Penny. It really doesn't matter at this point because the answer is obviously brief. Sorry, guys, if this was a little bit anticlimactic. Um, but the problem is that Black Fjord Twigs vexed, let's say, Sandy, is just devastatingly powerful, okay? Um, and so, yeah, it's obviously going to be brief. And there's our answer. How do you like that, guys? Pretty sweet. <laughs> what can I say? Um, got lucky with the B there, huh? Okay, so please join me on the Infinite Wordle so that we can take a peek at tomorrow's challenge. Guys, if you like sports, then tomorrow's challenge is designed for you. Uh, every word that you enter has to be related to sports, okay? Um, it could be any sport. Let's go with field. That's a really nice five letter word with five nice letters. Of course, you play many sports on a field. Okay, it's a little bit on the empty side. Um, well, let's do sport. I think sport is pretty much related to sports. What? That's incredible. Field sport comes up empty. We could do balls, um, but, you know, BAS, eh, it's not terrible. How about, um, uh, well, let's see here. What would be a good one? How about catch is actually not bad. No, that's not that good. Well, let me think about that. Actually, it just repeats the T. You get C's in two locations. Yeah, why not? Oh, okay. Wow, this is turning out to be harder than the challenge I just did. So, what now? What now? I mean, we're kind of running thin on the available words here. Field, sport, catch. How about... Um, we could do jump... Ah, uh, oh boy, I don't know. How about um, a vault? Um, thing is, I'm a little concerned. Okay, now we got to get uh, something good here. Um, M N U are coming to mind. What can I do with M N U? Um, hmm. Wow. I mean, I don't think I have the guess ready yet because it could be like baggy. It could be. Uh, it could be jazzy. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's too bad. So let's just see what else we could get rid of here. Um, field sport catch. Mm. Let's do jumps, okay? I think that's fair. Uh, you can, you know, you can do jumps in sports. All right, we have an M. Uh, this is really bad. Um, I guess it could be maybe Manji. Um, 
So I want to test a G and an N. Okay, field sport catch jumps. Um, let's do swing. Um, you swing a bat. Okay, I know some of these might be, you know, pushing it a little bit, but these are all legitimate actions that you can do in various sports. Ah, okay. So, yeah, I think we're going to end up with going with Manji. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, that was really brutal. Um, field sport is actually a pretty decent um, two-word combo. I just wasn't really thinking too carefully, so I'm sure we'll get some better ones um, for tomorrow. I'll prepare a little bit better. Hope you guys enjoyed, and of course, look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another challenge edition of Wordle with Art.